Namaste, welcome, welcome. Welcome to your practice. Let's prepare for our practice by having everything available that we may need to use as a prop. This could be blocks, a low footstool, chair and furniture, or a wall. And also have available a folded blanket um, so that you can pad your knees or sit on at the start of your practice. So having these props available helps us to access to um, offering us stability and accessibility. Let's come into our easy pose to custom. Your mudra for today, we're going to be using several mudras, but the one that we're going to connect with, to start with, is the Haridya mudra, the compassionate heart mudra. So curl in the index finger to the base of the thumb. And then bring the tip of the middle and the tip of the ring to touch the thumb, little finger extended. So index finger curl to the base of the thumb, thumb tip connected to the tip of the middle and ring finger, little finger extended. Place your hands on your knees or thighs. Closing your eyes or softening your gaze, gazing down towards the earth if you are maintaining an openness. Connect with your breath. Connect with the pattern of your breath. Bring the awareness, particularly to the heart space, the Anahat Chakra. Our practice today is drawing upon the quality of Lakshmi, the deity for abundance, abundance of love, abundance of compassion, so that we may move and be transformed by the purity of love in all that we do, in all that we say, in all that we think. Allow the breath to flower and blossom as you draw the breath in. So this expansion is a flowering, is a blossoming of the breath, of the life force vitality. And as you exhale, allow the breath to root, a rooting quality, this letting go into the earth, inhaling to flower, blossom the breath from the heart space, exhaling to root. This flower, the stem, the roots. Thinking perhaps of the, the lotus flower at the heart with 12 petals. This pattern of breath, opening and expanding the heart and then rooting deep into the heart seat of love, compassion, faith, trust. Our mantra for today is Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. The jewel is in the lotus. This is a six syllable mantra connecting us with the primordial presence of the universe, helping to dissolve attachments to feelings of constriction, those feelings that constrict us, that constrict the flow of love. 
connecting us to equanimity, to patience, to understanding, to open-mindedness. So that we move away from discord towards equanimity. We'll chant it three times together. Inhale to prepare. Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 Om, Om, Om. Bring the hands to the heart in Anjali Mutta, tips of the fingers connected, the thumb and little finger sides connected, palm open. As you inhale, allow the Anjali to flower into the Padma, the lotus. We're going to prayer wheel the lotus to above our crown. Exhaling, prayer wheel the lotus back to the heart in Anjali. Inhale, rotating the palms by bringing the fingertips together, bringing the backs of the hands together and then opening in the lotus. Exhaling back to the heart. And connect here with all of the qualities that you wish to dissolve. Such emotions and feelings or thoughts that constrict the heart to which we become attached and therefore our words, thoughts and actions are not from a place of purity, of sincerity of truth. These may be emotions like anger, jealousy, envy, greed. So whichever emotions you wish to let go of, release them. And then invite in Emotions and feelings of equanimity, peace, shanti, love, trust, compassion, planting them into the heart, and then allowing these thoughts, feelings, and emotions to flower and blossom with the breath. And then bring your hands into stillness of the heart in Anjali. Take a moment here. Silently three times chant, Om Mani Padme Hum to yourself at the very root of the heart. Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 Releasing your energy. Let's come directly onto the earth on all fours. Vamrasana. Moving into Majriyasana and Bhityasana. Inhaling to lift the tailbone. Open the heart, lift the gaze. Exhaling to round through. This cycle three times and then we're going to add on. 
allow this wave of the flowering breath as you inhale. And welcome this rooting as you exhale. And now let's add on Simhasana, lion's breath pranayam. So as you exhale, round through, inhale, take a full breath in, exhale, lion's breath, inhale, exhale, lion's breath, poke your tongue out, inhale, exhale, lion's breath, Simhasana Pranayama. Take a moment here, extend the right leg long, tuck the toes, full breath in, reach up towards the sky with your Haridhya Mudra, index curled into the base of the thumb, middle finger, ring finger and thumb connected. Exhale, left hand to the earth, lift the right leg so it's parallel. Sardulasana, balancing tiger. Inhale, reach forward with the left arm to come into sometimes called balancing tiger extension, Sardulasana, also known as Chakra Asana, moon bird pose. Three more breaths here. Hug the midline in by turning the navel. So draw that belly button in towards the spine. Draw in the rib cage to knitting in the ribs here. Exhale, hand to the earth. Bring that right knee down. Take a moment here. And then let's extend the left leg long. Tuck the toes. Reach up with that right arm. Bringing your hand into Haridya Mutra. Allow the breath to flower at the heart. So open up the heart towards the right. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Lift the left leg. Balance here in Sardulasana. Balancing Tiger. Option to reach the right arm forward, balancing tiger extension or chakrasana, chakrasana, moon bird pose. Turn everything to the midline, hug the muscles to the bones. Flex through that left heel, reach through the right fingertips. Exhale, right hand to the earth, bring that left knee in. Take a moment here. Let's come up on high onto our fingertips. And then turn the left fingertips in towards the heart. This might feel enough for you. If you wish, you can also turn the right fingertips in towards the body so that you have the inner wrists open here. And gently roll, rock backwards and forwards here. If this feels too intense for your inner wrist, you can roll up a blanket and place the heels of your hand on a blanket. So this is a less intense variation. And then gently rock backwards and forwards here. This also helps to release the tension where we may be um, with our hands on the earth for some time. Now, my friends, let's turn the left palm forward. Turn the right palm forward. Take a moment here. Lift the left knee off the earth. Bend into the knee. Take a moment here. And then let's bring that left knee in towards the heart as we round through the spine three times. The right toes can be untucked or tucked. On the third time, keep that left foot floating here. We're going to reach back with the right hand towards the left foot. So either take hold of that foot, 
the toes or reach back towards it. You can also use a strap here. Right toes can be tucked or untucked. Open the heart, lift the gaze towards the right. Exhale, turn your gaze down towards the earth, release the hand, release that left knee. Again, turn your palms into palms so that the fingers turn towards you. And then gently rock backwards and forwards on the heels of the hands and knees. Now when you're ready, let's go the other way. Lift the right foot up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the right knee in towards Anahatasana, in towards the root of the heart. Three times here. And on the third round, keep the toes of the right foot lifted up towards the sky. Good to reach back with the left arm towards that right foot. So we could be reaching back with our Haridhyamta. We can take hold of the foot. Open the heart, lift the gaze towards the sky. One more breath here. And then with care, exhale, release the hand, release the knee. For the last time, let's flip the fingers in towards us. Remember, you can have a rolled up blanket at the heels of the hand. And here, let's make a simasan roar. Simasana, lion's breath here. Take a full breath in. Release your hands. Let's sit back on your heels for a moment. Rotate the wrists one way, then the other way. And then let's flick the fingers one at a time. So we open up the fingertips, turn around to you. So you curl them up, you're rotating them one way, then the other, and then release the fingers one at a time. And then let's come back onto all fours. Spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes, engage the core by drawing in the navel. Activate through all of the limbs here. Claw the earth through your fingertips, the knuckles of your palms, the outer edges of your palms, tiger claws here. And then lift the knees, hover for a moment here. Melt the tailbone back towards uh, the back of the room here. Arms extended. And then gradually straighten through your legs as you begin to pedal at the heels. Bicycle here, your legs. Swing the hips. And then come into stillness in Parvatasana, mountain pose here. Engage the core. Reach the tailbone back and up. Turn the inside of your elbows forward. Reach the heels towards the earth, soft bending the knees. And then my friends, come up high on your fingertips and walk your hands back towards your feet, coming into a functional forward fold. Bend into your knees here. Fingertips can be on the earth or on your support, your blocks or low footstool. Reach the hips and pelvis behind the heel. Counter, reach the crown and the tailbone. So they are drawing away. Breathe big and wide into the rib cage. This flowering, blossoming breath, expanding the heart space. Om Mani Padme Ham, Um. Jewel in the lotus, the Padma Mudra, the lotus is connected with the heart space. And at the center of this lotus is the jewel, this radiant, brilliant, luminescent, luminous core of the self. 
Exhale, let's walk the hands back towards the body. Bring the hands onto the shins. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, crown, reaching forward, tailbone, reaching back. Fingertips can be on the earth here. You can bring the hands onto your thighs also, my friends. Supporting that lower back, maintaining that length in the spine, gently bending to your knees as you rise up with this tall spine. Coming into your Tadasan standing mountain. And then let's turn and come to the center of the mat. Prepare for your prepare for your connection with the earth by lifting the toes, placing them one by one. Bend into the knees. Now let's squeeze the thighs in towards each other. Then you'll notice that the you know, adductors turn on. Draw them back so that they turn to the back and spread out here. Then straighten through by squeezing in and drawing into the midline as if you're zipping up here. Squeeze the pelvis, the mula band. Draw in the navel towards the spine, spine. knit in the ribs, or the yana band engaged here. Lengthen the sternum, broaden the shoulders, the collarbones. Bring your hands into Haridya Mudra. Lifting the crown, slightly tucking the chin so the back of the neck is long. Inhale, reach up, coming into your lotus above the crown. Exhale, prayer wheel to the heart, Nandali. Inhale, reach up with Padma. Exhale, prayer wheel to the heart. So you come into Anjali. So as I reach up, my hands are in Haridya Mudra. So you see I'm reaching up with my Haridya Mudra. And when I reach my crown, I bring my hands into this lotus. Then I bring my palms together, turn my fingertips down. So I create this V with my thumb and index. Back of hands come together. And then I keep this motion going to my heart, Nanjali, with a soft opening of the palm. And you may chant your mantra silently or out loud to yourself, Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Again, dissolving the characteristic, characteristics, aspects that do not serve you, that constrict or bind or limit you. And then invoke the qualities, the aspects, the characteristics that flower and blossom at the heart, that help to root into the earth so that the energy we are drawing up is the, the essence of nature, the essence of the universe, the nature that is untouched by man, untouched by all of the harm that is caused and created by the actions of man. Coming into stillness here. Reach up, overhead, interlace all your fingers, release the index, cross the thumbs, coming into Kali Mudra. Take the right foot behind you, come up high on the ball of your foot, bend into the knees and exhale over to the left. Coming into Ardha Chandrasan variation. Inhale to center. Exhale, take the left foot behind you, high up on the ball. Exhale over to the right. Gazing down as you do. Inhale to center. Let's do that once more in each direction. And back to center, let's add on. Now this time, let's take the left leg really wide. Bring the heel of that foot onto the earth. We'll keep it slightly lifted, but intend that heel to reach the earth. And straighten through the left leg. So the left that is pointing, that is in front, is extending that leg. 
extending that hind leg so we don't have a bend in the knees anymore. We are creating this extension. Hands over to the left. And now I invite you to lift your gaze up towards the sky. So you'll notice that the weight shifts into that leg that's behind. So that's why I encourage you to have that foot connected. So you might need to lessen the distance between the two legs to enable that action. But maintain a connection between the, the big toe mound of the left foot and the inner left heel, inner left arch. Exhale to center. Let's go the other way. So take the left leg behind you now, right leg front. And again, lift up to the left, gazing up towards the sky, up towards the sky. Both directions again, back to center. If it helps to bring your hands to your heart as you transition, you can bring your hands to the heart and then reach up. Reach up. So you could bring them down to the center as you step to the center and then reach them up as you reach across. That might help your balance. So we finish on the, with the left foot behind. Come back to center, take a moment here, release your hands. Let's walk to the top of our mat. Coming into your Tadasana with Haridya Mudra. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to flow down towards the earth, flowing as if you are pouring the essence of love down into the earth. Halfway left, Ardha Uttanasana. Hands on shins or thighs. Exhale, fold. Step back along with the right foot. Bring the right knee to the earth. Pad the knee if you wish, my friends. Inhale, hands in Anjali to the heart. Let's prayer wheel to the crown. Padma the crown. Exhale, hands to the earth. Tuck the right toe, lift the right knee and step back long with the left leg. Here in Alakasana, you can bring the knees directly to the earth or you can stay lifted here for a moment. Friends. And when you're ready, everybody, let's Ashtang Asana to the earth. Bring the knees to the earth, untuck your toes, bend into your elbows, lift your tailbone, melt your heart towards the earth. Chin is resting on the earth here. Then slide the knees away to inhale and rise into Cobra Bhujangasana. Anchor in the elbows to the sides of your body. Lengthen the back of the neck here in Bhujangasana. Exhale, press into your hands. Let's rise up your mountain. Take a moment here. And we're going to just step forward with the left, the right foot. So bring the left knee to the earth. Step forward with the right foot. Take a moment here and then bring Anjali hands to your heart. Prayer wheel to the sky. Sky above your crown, the Sahasrara Chakra, where a thousand petal lotus flower sits. Connecting with this purifying energy in which you, if you have a jewel or a diamond or any kind of jewel, and you polish it to bring out its radiance, its brilliance, its sparkle. This is the practice. Um, as it works on the jewel in the lotus of the heart. Exhale, hands to the earth. Tuck the left toes, step forward with your left foot to meet your right foot. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, fold, bend into your knees, rise to the sky, reach overhead, gentle back bend. Exhale, hands to the heart and Anjali. Take a moment here. Reconnect with your mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum. Let's do that one more time, that variation of Surya Namaskar. Inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, flow towards the earth as if you're pouring the amrita or the nectar of love into the earth itself. Halfway, hands on shins or thighs or fingertips on the earth. Exhale, bend into your knees and then let's step the left foot back. Bring the left knee to the earth. Pad the knee if you wish, my friend. Inhale, Anjani Asana, Padma, Prayer Wheel to the crown. Exhale, hands to the earth, tuck the toes, step back long. Pause for a moment. My friends, if you wish to Chaturang to the earth, Chaturang Vagasana, that is an option for you now. Otherwise, come to the earth in Ashtang Asana. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise in Bhujangasana or Urdhva Mukha Shavanasana, up dog. Exhale, everybody meet in Bhargatasana, mountain. Bring the right knee to the earth, step forward with the left foot. Inhale, Anjali to the heart, prayer wheel to the crown. The arms can be extended here. You can have a bend in your elbows, my friends. Yogi's choice. Exhale, hands to the earth. Tuck the toe, lift the right knee. Step forward. Uttanasana, halfway. Fold again. And then rise up. Gentle back bend. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a moment to pause. Connect with the flowering, the blossoming out the hot space, anahata. The 12 petal lotus at the heart, the thousand petal lotus at the crown. Omani Padme Ham, the jewel is in the lotus, Padme, the lotus. And the lotus grows from the mud, it struggles to take root. It's struggles to grow up the light and this struggle this journey this adversity or challenge this working its way through these muddy emotions feelings thoughts is a part of the process of moving towards a place where our thoughts words and actions are rooted in love, yet shine radiant like a jewel. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Step back long with the right foot, my friends. Take a moment here. Then bring the right knee to the earth and shuffle the left foot out so we come into a variation of lizard pose. Uttan Prisht, Prishtasana. Take the right hand out towards me. Let's turn around so you can see me, my friends. So turn the, take the right hand off the mat. The left toes are at a diagonal. The knee is following and tracking the left toes. Take a moment here and then bring your Haridya Mudra to the heart. Lift your gaze by spiraling your heart up towards the sky. Reach up with the left hand so that you come into a lateral stretch over to the right. Exhale, left hand returns to the earth. Take a moment here, lift the right knee. 
step back long with the left foot. Here, my friends, again, let's come down to the earth in either Ashtanga Asana or Chaturanga Tandas Tandasana. And we're going to stay at the earth, though, my friends. So right, lower down. Let's take a moment here on the earth. Take out your arms wide, wider than your mat. Your eyebrow center can be resting on the earth or you can place your folded blanket here. So take your arms out wide so that you create a V. Come up high on your fingertips. This is a variation of Mukhasana, crocodile pose. One full breath here, then inhale and lift your gaze for a moment. Lift the heart space. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift the heart space. Lift the gaze. Perhaps you lift one leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise again, my friends. Lift the left leg. Exhale, lower. One more breath here, my friends. You can lift both legs, lift the gaze, lift the heart. Keep the fingertips high up on the earth. Legs may not rise very high, and that's just beautiful wherever you are. Exhale, lower to the earth. Bring the hands to the back of the skull, interlace your fingers here. Rest for a moment here. We're, spark, we're polishing this jewel at the root of our heart here. Inhale, lift your gaze, lift your elbows so that you come a little bit off the air. Some of us may come up very high. We're all going to be in different places depending on our back. We're strengthening the posterior chain here. Exhale, lower. And now, my friends, I invite you to lift your legs at the same time as you lift your hands, lift your elbows, lift your gaze. And we're all going to be in completely different places here. Exhale, lower. It's a variation of Salabhasana. Lower to the earth. Walk your hands long in front of you. Bring the palms together. Bend into your elbows and bring a lotus to the back of the skull here at the occiput. Exhale. Press into your hands. Inhale. Rise up onto your knees here. Take a moment here. If you wish to come back into child's pose, you're invited to do that to release the tension that you may have experienced in your back. Inhale, lift your gaze. Take a moment here. Tuck your toes, rise up into Parvatasana, mountain pose. We're going to step forward with the right foot. So bring the left knee down, my friends, and step forward with the right foot. Let's come into Uttan Prishtasana here, this dragon pose. So turn the heel, the right toes out. The right hand is on the inside of that foot. Let's take the left hand off our mat. So we have a nice wide stance between the right foot and the left hand. The right knee is turning out as it's tracking the right toes. Bring the left hand to the heart in Haritya Mudra. Spiral the heart up towards the sky. You might help your rib cage here. And then let's reach overhead with the right arm so that we have a lateral stretch over to the right here. Gazing up towards the sky. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Take a moment here, shuffle that right foot in, tuck the toes, 
Step forward with the left foot to meet the right. Inhale, halfway. Fingertips on earth, on blocks. Hands on shins or thighs. Bend into your knees. Inhale, let's rise through chair pose. I'll get back a little bit back so you can see me a little better. Bring your hands in Anjali at the heart for the moment. So engage the thighs here. So imagine you are squeezing a block between your thighs. Reach the tailbone back. Maintain the long spine here. Draw the navel in towards the spine. Hug into the midline, engage your mula band. You can lift your toes off the earth here. Heart and Anjali at the heart. Hands in Anjali Mudra at the heart. The seed of potentiality. Inhale, let's reach our arms up with our Padma. So you can prayer wheel. Hands are reaching so that our arms are aligned with our ears or you can have your Padma slightly ahead of you. Exhale, prayer wheel. We'll return the hands to the heart in Anjali. Inhale, rise up onto the balls of your feet. Let's prayer wheel. Balancing here. Exhale, Anjali back to the heart. Lower the heels. Inhale to rise up. Take a moment here. We're going to move into diver's pose or drinking bird pose. Reach out with your hands alongside your body. Come into your Haridya Mudra, curling in the index to the base of the thumb. Bend into your knees here, back into Utkatasana, strong pose. Inhale, lift onto the heels here for a moment. Reach the crown forward, reach the tailbone back. You have the option of straightening through the knees here. Stay up high on the balls of your feet, crown reaching down towards the earth, arms reaching up towards the sky. And then when you're ready, my friends, and if you do lose your balance, and come back into the pose. And when you're ready, my friends, bend into your knees, lift the crown, lower the heels, reach your hands over, engage them in Kali Mudra by interlacing all the fingers, releasing the index, crossing the thumbs, gentle back bend, and hands to the heart. Full breath here. Let's take a quarter turn and step across our mat. We're going to move into Deviyasana. Because we're working with the energy of Lakshmi, um, this abundance of love, abundance of compassion, abundance of this just this generous um, giving of endless, boundless patience. Turn the toes out, the knees tracking the toes, bend into your knees. Bring our hands into Anjali, and then we can prayer wheel up towards the crown. Arms can be extended, or you can have a soft bend in the elbows. Om Mani Padme Ham, chanting your mantra here. Om Mani Padme Ham. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Inhale to rise up. Turn the left toes in. Bend into the right knee. Open out into the great warrior Mahavira Vidrasana. Exhale into 
Shanti warrior. So bring that left hand to the left side, up and over with the right arm. Exhaling, bring the right forearm onto the right thigh, reach up and over with the left arm. And let's flow like this, the great warrior, Shanti warrior. Utita Parshava Kanasana, extended side angle. Three times. Hands in Haridya Mutra. And then the next time that you reach extended side angle, take the left hand behind, interlace your fingers into a yoga mudra. Draw your hands down towards the earth. Lift your heart for a moment. And then exhale to fall down towards the earth in devotional warrior. Release your hands. Walk your hands across the middle of your mat. Turn the right toes in. Halfway lift here. Fingertips. High up on your fingertips. And then let's turn the left toes out. Turn the right toes in. Bend into that left knee. Inhale, reach behind your back. Coming into a devotional warrior. Crown reaching down. Hands reaching up behind you. Om Mani Padme Hum. You can rest the left shoulder onto your left thigh. You can stay quite high up here so that your heart is parallel to the earth. And then when you're ready, my friends, engage through the feet or four corners of each foot. Rise up. Let's open out the arms into the great warrior Mahavira Bhasan to the left. And then flow three times here. From great warrior to peaceful warrior. And then extend to side angle. Mahavira Bhadrasan, Shanti Vira Bhadrasan, Utita Pashavo Kamasana. And the next time that you reach extended side angle, let's bring the hands to the earth, walk our hands to the center, turn in the toes. Halfway lift here. And then let's heel toe, heel toe to the center. Bend into your knees, rise up through chair pose, Utkatasana, strong pose. Inhale, straighten through your legs, reach up with your Padma above your crown. And exhale, hands back to the heart. Take a moment here. Realign with your breath. If you can hear the sound of thunder, bolts of lightning. After each storm comes the clearing. The world looks more Bright, looks brighter, more radiant. After the skies have cleared, the dark clouds have lifted. I'm going to come into Garudasana, eagle pose. So let's make sure we're fully stabilize and found our foundation is strong our roots are strong so remember the flowering of the upper body the rooting of the lower body peel off the right heel of the earth here and then cross the right leg over the left you can be high upon the ball of the toes of that right foot you can wrap the 
right toes round the left calf. And let's keep our hands in Badama today. You can also pour the love down towards the earth with Pushpanjali, pouring the nectar, the sweetness, the essence of love, compassion, so that we may be purified in our thoughts, words, and actions through love. So that we invite in equanimity, peace. Inhale to rise back up, uncross the legs. And then let's take the left leg over the right. Again, you can stay with, stay on the ball of that left foot. You can also wrap it around the right leg. And my friends, you are also invited to pull, push Banjali towards the earth. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. The jewel is in the lotus. Inhale to rise up. Release the legs, release the hand, shake it out. And then let's come down towards the earth. Take a moment here. And lower yourself onto the earth. Let's bring in the right knee and hug back to the heart. Left foot can stay on the earth with the knee bent, or you may extend that left leg long, yogi's choice. Take the right hand to the inside of that right knee, and then let's open up the right knee out to the side. Turn the gaze over to the left. Inhale back to center. Hug in that right knee. Extend that right leg long. And let's bring that right foot to the earth. Inhale, hug in the left leg. Again, you can have a bend in that right knee. You can extend that leg long, yogi's choice. With the left hand, let's open up the left knee to the side. The right hand can be on the right, um, the head lights of the right hip. You can turn the gaze towards the right. And imagine here that you are the lotus flower rising up in the earth. Inhale, left leg back to center, hug it in, reach it up, and then release your legs to the earth. Take a full breath here to root into the earth. Inhale to flower and blossom. Exhale to root to the earth. Closing your eyes. Softening through all of the joints of the body. Allow the feet to fall out. Ankles to soften, knees to soften. Hips and pelvis to soften. The length of the spine to soften. The rib cage to soften. The sternum, the collarbone, the shoulders. The arms, the bones of the arms, the yeah. elbows, the wrists, 
the fingers, the back of the head, the top of the head, the jawbone, the cheeks, the brow. Softening here, melting into the earth. Growing upon the wisdom of the earth. This uh, wisdom of nature to work in harmony, to be in unity, to be in equanimity. Form the primordial sound. Money, dissolvement of attachment to the way that we may be constricted to the material. But may the opening of the heart, the flowering of the heart, the flowering and blossoming of the thinking, moving from patience from love, from wisdom, and then hum this unity, equanimity, peace. Three more breaths here in your Shavasana. Each breath, each in breath, flowering of the heart. Each out breath rooting of the heart. Curling and uncurling your fingers and toes. Stretching and flexing the joints at the ankles and the wrists. And then as you exhale, curl everything in. Big hug coming into Apasana. And roll over onto one side, ideally the left side, side of the heart. And then rising up into your seat, your Sukhasan, bringing your hands into Anjali Mudra. Prayer wheel at the heart this time into Padma. So three wheels of the hands. And then holding your Padma. Opening your eyes, gaze down into the palms. Closing by chanting our mantra and then Om Shanti. Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hands to the eyebrow center, then your vad, then your vad, then your vad, friends.